Hi everyone. Happy, happy Memorial Day. We are getting ready to head to pick my sister and aunt up. They're going to come stay a couple days with me. Ugh. It has been a crazy morning in this house. So I'm excited to have a little bit of time with you guys to relax. Hi, Kristen. Happy Memorial Day. I hope everybody enjoys the bells that ring in all of my lives. I enjoy listening to them, so they don't really bother me. Um, but we're going to get started here. I am going to use my Perfector sponge that I got in my basic artist kit. And I have lots of info who, for who, anybody who would like to get more info on that. We have a pressure-free PDF. Um, so if you're interested in the artist opportunity, don't be afraid to message me. Thanks, Kristen. My aunt bought me this shirt. It's like a cute little like flannel. It reminds me of something my Grammy would wear, but I absolutely love it. So thank you. Okay, so I am going to use my new priming water, rose water. This is by, this is NYX NYX Professional Makeup Primer. And the good, cool thing about this one is it's a prime set and refresh. So it can be used for a couple of different things. So just a few spritzes on the face there. And then I'm just gonna dampen my beauty blender a little bit. Oh, and I cannot forget to put my chapstick on. My lips have been so chapped. This is a coffee flavored lipstick or chapstick. It is the best. So now that our Perfector sponge is damp, I'm just going to pat that priming water into my face before we go in with our e.l.f. putty primer. I know a lot of you guys will be with your families today, so if you're not able to hop on the live and you catch the replay, make sure to give this a like and comment hashtag replay. I do have another giveaway item picked out, so if we are able to get this video to five views or five shares, I will be doing another giveaway. To be entered into the giveaway, you're going to need to share this live video and comment shared below. I have a lip and cheek color that I have been using that I would love to give away for Memorial Day. So like I said, if we can get this live to five shares and comment share when you're done, I will be picking the winner of that live tonight and I will share that with you tomorrow. So we have set our face with our NYX setting powder or setting rose water. Rhyming rose water. I'm telling you, my day has been like, go, 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 go. So my brain is like not here. I'm putting stuff away without lids on them. All right. So now I am going to go in with my e.l.f. putty primer. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Oh. <laughs> I just stuck my fingers in my e.l.f. putty primer. Okay, so I hope everybody's getting a good laugh from this. <laughs> oh, my day. I think I'm just so excited for my aunt and sister to come up that I'm like rushing through everything. So take a few deep breaths. Okay, now let's try this again. Kels, it's been a struggle since I woke up. Not lying. So to apply my e.l.f. putty primer, I am going to use my Buffy brush. I have three brushes now from Mascara Beauty. I have my Buffy brush my 30 second hack, and my blush and bronzer brush. All brushes are double-ended. So instead of having six brushes, I have three. It is amazing. Hi, Melissa. Hope your day's going good. Do you guys have anything planned for Memorial Day? You cooking out or anything? 
So just a light dab into that, and I'm just gonna dab this onto my face so we can go about setting. Mascara Beauty, or priming our face. Mascara Beauty's brushes are all double-ended brushes. Coast, you're going to a cookout with Kiri in them. Oh, Ryder's gonna have so much fun. Well, we are probably gonna make some ribs tonight when we get home. I'm leaving here at like two o'clock and it's about an hour and 20 minutes to my grams. So we'll probably get home at like five. So right around dinner and cook some ribs. My aunt Lisa is like an amazing cook. Oh, okay, Kels. Kristen, KK misses you so much. She always talks about you. I'm pretty sure she's friends with you on Facebook. She asks how you're doing all the time. We'll have to plan a day and get together, especially since you haven't saw the pup yet. Okay, so now that our face is primed, I'm going to pick up my lid, if I can even find that. Okay, here it is. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh. Ribs are my weakness. I love ribs. KK is sweet, but she has got the tood of my mother. She will give it back to you like no other. She is a spitting image of my mama. All right, now we are priming our eyelids for our eyeshadow. I am going to do my eye look before I do my full face. By Wednesday this week, I have been checking my tracking every single day. Um, by Wednesday, I will have some mas or eyeshadows through Mascara Beauty and some brushes to share with you guys because I'm so excited to show you the difference in the palettes I've been using on my lives with the Mascara Beauty eyeshadow and how much more pigmented they are. Kels, she is getting so big. I'm like, girl, can you slow down a little bit? Like, pump the brakes. Okay. So let's get started with our eyes here. And as you can see, I have, it's like a triangle, an imperfection here, here, and a run right in the middle between my two eyes. It's like a triangle. I always get breakouts right here and on the center of my eye. I'm super excited to try mascara's skincare line and share that with you guys. So we have everything out now for our eyes. Any preferences on an eye look we should do today? Hmm. So I think we're going to use a little bit of red. We do a light red color, especially since I have on this red and white shirt. Let's just play with the eyeshadows a little bit. Okay. So I do have two e.l.f. palettes and I have a Huda Beauty palette that I've been using on my lives. Like I said, by Wednesday, I should have my Mascara Beauty eyeshadows. You think a reddish eyeshadow, Kels? That's what I was thinking. Nothing too bright, but just red to really bring out my shirt and make my eyes pop. Okay. So we're going to go in out of my e.l.f. palette here with this skin tone color. This is just going to help to even the color over my eyes before we apply anything else. I did this crazy eye look last night. I was so bored. I got all my studying done and I was like, you know what? Let's just do something different. Thank you for the share, Kels. If you're just hopping on, I do have another giveaway prize picked out. Um, I will show you that here in one second. Um, I wanted to do a little giveaway for Memorial Day. You guys have been supporting me greatly with the beginning of this, and I just love to give back. 
So if this gets five shares, we will do a giveaway. The giveaway will run till 12 o'clock tonight and I will pick the winner tomorrow. To be entered, you must share and comment shared when you're done so I know who is sharing. Sometimes my Facebook messes up and won't let me necessarily see everybody that's sharing. So make sure you're commenting shared. So next we are going to use this color Supreme. It's a darker color, but I think it'll look good with the red that I'm gonna use. And we're just gonna take this not onto our eyelid directly, but we're gonna place it on the outer corners here. Oh yes, this will look great. This will look great. And I kind of go back and forth. I don't necessarily always finish one eye. I kind of like to place where I'm putting it on both sides. But I played around with purples last night out of my one elf palette because I'm more of like a I wear the same eyeshadow every day person even though I know I shouldn't be oh I love this color I've never used it before don't be scared if you have eyeshadow in places you don't want it thank you Melissa for that share you'll be entered in this giveaway so I guess I can show you that real quick so we are giving away a lip and cheek that I have been using. So if this video gets five shares and whoever shared it, comments shared, you'll be entered to win a nude lip and cheek. I have posted a couple pre-recorded videos of a lip look that I've done with this color. The great thing is this is a blush and a lip color. It can be used for your blush or it can be used on your lips. So that is the giveaway for today. Five shares, that giveaway will happen. And make sure you're commenting shared. Okay, so we're just going to finish up this other eye over here before we go in with our next color, which is going to be more of a reddish. This is going to be a cute undertone color. So when you're doing your eyeshadow, you're always going to want to start from the lightest color and work your way up. So the red I'm using will be a little bit more vibrant than this color. I always keep an old towel or a shirt next to me while I'm doing my makeup to keep my brushes clean so I'm not transferring one thing to another. Okay, now we're going to go in with the color Heat. I used this on my live when we did a Memorial Day eye look for anybody who needed a little bit of inspo for their eyes that day. Oh, yes. This color is very bright. I love burnt reds and oranges on my eyes. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Another exciting thing that is going on is I just got, um, thank you, Kristen. Another fun thing is I just got a tow hitch to be put on my car so I can go, we can go camping. And especially with just getting our puppy, she's getting bigger. And I just keep telling Preston, I'm so excited to take her camping. She loves the water. She loves to chase birds and squirrels. She loves other dogs. She's really a great addition to our little fam here. So I'm just cleaning up, adding any color where I need it. I'm really liking the red color that I use. Okay, now that we have that done, I am going to go in with this lighter orange shade and I'm just going to apply that up top there. And that's going to give me a pop right at the top of all of this. Beautiful. Kristen, Preston just said that we're going to go look at them. 
So, with that being said, girl, we need a kayaking trip planned like ASAP, some nice drinks on the water, some fishing, kitchen uptime. I feel like so much has happened since I've saw you last, and I could just use a big old hug from you. That's for dang sure. So I'm really liking the look we're getting from this. So lastly, before I clean up anything here, is I'm going to go in with this color Penny. Give myself a little bit of shimmer on my eyes there. We have one like a half hour away from my house. Well, looks like that's what we're going to look at tomorrow. And I am just applying this shimmery penny color right onto my lid. And then I will bring it up as well. This color is very shimmery. It's going to make my eyes shimmer. Perfect. All right. So lastly, I'm just going to blend this all together, blend it up, and I will be able to go back in. Kels, kayaks are so fun. I've never had my own personally. I've always used a friend's. Um, but we always have such a good time. And you could get Ryder a little life vest. He would love it. Being out on the water, oh my gosh, he'd be like, in glory days out there. Okay. So I'm just cleaning up the top again now, which actually, I am gonna go in to clean up the top with my Huda palette. I love the shimmery colors that we have in here. And I'm just gonna go in with the skin tone color. It's a little bit more vibrant, so it'll look, there we go. Make sure if you're hopping on, you're saying hello. We are doing a giveaway. If this video can get to five shares, I have a nude lip and cheek color that I have been using from the start of this with you guys. If you've shared it, make sure you're commenting shared below so I can see who to enter. So I'm loving this look. It's going to look great with my outfit. Ryder, ugh. I am not ready for kids, but Ryder has my heart. He is, I love his eyes, Kels. He is like the beautiful little, beautiful eyes, beautiful, beautiful eyes. So we are at three shares. Only two more in this giveaway can happen. So make sure you're share, share, sharing. So I am going to put my two palettes away, but I'm going to keep my one out because we will do the under our eye as well. So to do my under eye, I'm going to go back in with this Supreme color that we used as a base. And I'm just going to take this right under my eye. And it's going to really make your eyes pop when you do this. Now, no hurry at all with me, Kelsey, especially after getting a puppy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm most certainly not ready for children yet. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Thank you for hopping on. We are doing another giveaway. Comment below with what you're doing for Memorial Day. I know everybody has plans with their fam, cookouts, just hanging out. On my way down to my grams, I'm stopping, stopping to pick up a slushy, an adult slushy, because they have like changed my life. I think they're my new addiction when it comes to stuff like that because I don't drink much, but if you put it in a slushy, whoo. Yeah, Kristen, can you believe that? I haven't drank in months. I used to be wild. 
What the heck happened? Who knew growing up would change you that much? <laughs> Becky, I just told my boyfriend that I wanted to get a slip and slide for out in our yard. <laughs> He's like, are you gonna go down it? I'm like, well, duh. I think it would be so fun. We used to have one at my Graham's house for in the summertime. And like the whole neighborhood would be over. So we just use those colors, blending them on the bottom. And that's really going to make my eyes pop now. Girl, we're all coming to crash the party. Everybody's going to go down the slip and slide at one time. <laughs> Thank you for the share, Becky. You will be entered into this giveaway. So if I'm thinking correctly, we only need one more share to make this giveaway happen. This video has to hit five shares for the giveaway to happen. So now that we have our eyes all done, I will go in with the bigger end and I'm just going to blend everything together. Any excess will be cleaned up when we go in with our foundation which mascara calls our highlight colors. Oh, Kels, I get adult slushies at the drive through beer distributor. And um, there's a place up here called Sid Sub Shop. And next to the sub shop, they have like a little beer distributor. And you can go in there and get slushies. They have the Paps Brew Blue Ribbon Coffee one. It seriously tastes like an iced coffee. Best thing in the whole wide world. They have the Jamaica Me Happy ones. The Mike's Hard Blueberry and Blackberry ones. <sighs> Delish. Hi, Lenny. I have not talked to you in a very long time since I was little, little. Hope work's going good. Hopefully you get off soon so you're not working all day on Memorial Day. So now that we have that done, I am going to go in and do my eyebrows like I've said before not an eyebrow expert not gonna pretend like i am either everybody needs an adult slushie in their life listen if they'd stay frozen on our way down to blair's so i'd stop by and bring you guys one but there ain't no way they're gonna stay frozen it's really hot up here is it hot where you guys are at okay There it is. Losing my marbles today. So now to complete my eyebrow look, I'm going to use my contour color that comes out of my full face 410 compact. But we have been using contour stone um, since I started doing my lives and we're actually going to go in with a contour called Astoria. These tins are so nice. Because if you want to swap out your contour color with another color, they easily magnetize in and out of your compact. This is Astoria White Peach and Pink Grapefruit Lip and Cheek. So I'm going to align with Astoria today. We have been using stone, but I wanted to give Astoria a try with you guys. Something new, something new. Kristen, you're good at doing your eyebrows at home. Me, on the other hand, I'm like, uh-uh, I do not trust myself. Thank you for hopping on, everybody. We are doing a giveaway if this video makes it to five shares. Thank you so much, Kels. I know, I'm really liking them. So now we are going to go in with the, just kidding, the Astoria. But I'm using this compact as a mirror for myself. So we are using Astoria. We're just going to line the bottom here. And we are going to line the top. And we will fill in. Creating hair light strokes to give you a fuller look where you are missing hair or you don't have hair growing in. On my other live, I talked about the new, like, cool trend that's going around where you cut, like, a slit into your eyebrow. But I was born with one of those on this side. I just brushed it over. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, 
did you like whack my eyebrow whenever I came out the womb or something like that and I just never grown hair there again? Okay. My mom was a makeup lover and I'm so sad I did not get to share this makeup with her. Every time I do my makeup, I think of her because I know my mom would have loved this. And Kels, my mom would have loved seeing your videos. She just adored you, girl. So we have them shaped up. Nothing needs to look perfect with them yet. The last thing I do with mine is I go in with a dark eyeshadow color out of one of my e.l.f. palettes. And I'm going to darken them a little bit more and just really fill them in. Make sure everything's sticking on. So I use the smaller end of my eyeshadow brush. And I'm just dipping it into a darker brown color. Lightly, you don't need too much. It's just for your brows. And we're just going to take this over. And it really just darkens where you had to fill in with the contour color. I love the look. You could just go in with your contour color. You don't have to use an eyeshadow color. But you know, I have to make everything the hard way. So you don't have to be like me. <laughs> a nutcase. That's what I am. I'm a nutcase in a shell in my house. <laughs> Thanks, Kels. All right, so we have did our brows. We've done our eye look. Next is lashes. We are going for a full glam look um, today because I have some family up that I haven't seen in a little while. I only have one more pair left on my little black dress set of eyelashes, so we are going to use the last pair I almost just went off the back of my seat Ugh. okay and I do trim mine up a little bit which I didn't do before this video so just bear with me while I trim these real fast oh goodness my ferrets were in here and the other day when I did my live to unbox my artist kit that I got in the mail, I was like, okay, I want to make sure I have scissors because the mascara brushes come in a netting thing, a netting cover to protect them. And I was, I had a pair of scissors here and then I'm like, I get on the live and I go to open the mascara brush and I'm like, okay, my, my brush, my scissors were just here. Where did they go? Looking for them, looking for them. Couldn't find them until after the live. So I used these big honking scissors when I knew I had these little scissors, but my ferrets hid them underneath my couch in my office room. I love them things, but oh. We have two ferrets too. We have Gypsy and Snowball. One's an albino ferret and one is a bandit ferret. They're both the most loving ferrets ever. They have calmed down so much. They were little buttholes when they were babies still. And now they're just the most loving, cuddling animal ever. So I have cut and trimmed my eyelash to where I want it. I am using white eyelash glue. This glue goes on white, but it dries clear. And we're just taking the glue right around. I've been applying my lashes a couple different ways. Um, I've either been using the glue as like an eyeliner and putting it on, or I've been applying it onto the lash before I put the lash on, letting it get a little bit tacky. You never want to go in with super wet lash glue or you'll just get super irritated because it's not going to work. Kels, our ferrets are so cute. I love them to death. They can sometimes be pain in the butts though. My favorite is that they love to shower. They, if the shower's running, they'll run into the bathroom and if you're in there, they'll move the shower curtain and stick their nose in there and then you can pick them up and they literally just like go limp on their backs and you just take them underneath the water and they lay there. Like, what the heck? 
All right, we're going to apply our left eyelash here. I have been doing pretty good with applying them, so we're going to try to keep it that way. Okay, let's see. I got to get good lighting. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think my issue sometimes is trying to use tweezers. But then again, I try to go in with my finger, and I'm like, okay, this isn't going to work. And maybe it's because I'm starting with my left, and I normally start with my right. So bear with me trying to get these darn things on. And it's been a couple days since I decided I was going to wear eyelashes again. Okay, I don't know if these bad boys are gonna recuperate today. My eyelash glue is like the perfect tackiness right now though to get them to... Get them to stick on! And you always want to be careful when you are doing this. So that you do not poke yourself in the eye. And then after they are on there, I just take my finger and lightly push to ensure that the lashes are connected in all areas. Hi, Tori. Happy Memorial Day weekend. We're applying our lashes. We just finished our eyeshadow look and our eyebrows for the day. Wow, it feels so weird to have eyelashes on again. Like I said, I kind of took a break from them just because I, my eyes already aren't used to having something on them all day long. So then to just like start slapping eyelashes on every day, I could tell my eyes are like, okay, girl, give me a break. Thank you, girls. I've been practicing in my spare time. That's why I only had one pair left. Um, it's getting easier. It is really just a learning process if you're somebody who normally doesn't wear eyelashes. And you can't get frustrated with it when you can't get them on right off the bat. That's one thing I've learned because getting frustrated just makes things everything. It makes everything ten times harder. Especially when it comes to your makeup. If you're, If it's just not feeling it that day or nothing's working right then just kind of go with the flow you know like if these lashes one went on we had to just put eye mascara on that have been the end of it okay so we have our right side lash to apply now and the right side always seems to go a little bit better but I am gonna let this eyelash glue get tacky because I almost did what I told you guys not to do and that is to let it get it tacky because it's going to be a mess and aggravating if you try to put them on when it's still wet this lash glue you won't be able to see it in my camera I cannot wait for my ring light but this eyelash glue turns like a bluish color when it's getting tacky and we're just gonna lay them on the corner there and then bring them around and voila. See, I told you one eye is always going to be harder than the other. My left eye is really hard for me, so I normally never start with that eye. And today I just went for it, and you can tell that I had an issue with it. And we're just dabbing to ensure that they are sticking on in all areas. Voila! So we now have our eyelashes on. Now we can get into our face. Let me put these away because we don't need them no more. Oh, I'm in a mood today. It's either going to end up good or bad. Okay, we don't need our scissors. These are handy little scissors if you're um, like me and you have to cut your eyelashes down. I have a smaller eyelid. So sometimes the eyelashes that I buy don't necessarily always fit, and I just trim them down from the inner corner a little bit. <sighs> okay. We are going to use some new colors on our face, which is what I was really excited to do, and that's why I wanted to hop on here with you guys. So now that we are done with that, we can start applying our full face. 
I am going to use my Astoria contour, which is a new contour I received in my artist kit. I'm going to use two highlight colors. I'm going to use one as my main and one as a lightener, almost like your concealer color. Then I'm going to use pink grapefruit and nude on my cheeks and my lip. And we have our pearl illuminator to apply when we are done. And we're going to use our 30 second hack brush to go in with. And then we will go in with our blush and contour. Actually, we're going to start with our blush and contour. So I'm going to go in with, see, they're all double ended brushes. This is our blush and contour. So I'm going to lightly dab this down into my Astoria contour color. New contour colors, new brushes, always fun, fun, fun. And we're gonna take this contour color right along our hairline. This will be the first time using this new contour color, but I really, I did like a quick color swatch with it to see if I was going to like it, and I actually really do, but I like to keep my stone contour in there as well because I sometimes use that to line my lips with when I'm wanting a more defined lip look. I love this brush so far. Like I said, these are new brushes that I'm working with, so we're kind of in a learning process together, but I am loving this coverage you get from this brush. It's so big and full. Okay. So we've lined around our hairline and now I'm just going to dabble this down my cheek here. And don't be alarmed if you pick up too much. You can always go in with your beauty blender. But for this, since I did pick up a little bit too much, what I'm going to do is just go in with my Buffy brush, the tapered end, smooth it out. And this brush is also going to pick up some of that additional color that we used. Perfect. So now we don't have too much on that side. So never be alarmed. You're not going to get it right on the first try with any makeup. So it's really just a learning process. And I have a really heavy hand when it comes to makeup, but that side looks better. I will still go in with this and just really smooth that out. So perfect. We now have our face contoured on both sides. So since I did pick up some of the excess with my Buffy brush, we went in with our blush and bronzer color and we use the smaller fluffier end to apply our contour color. But since I use this to pick up any excess or straighten out those lines, I'm just going to use it and take it around my chin. A lot, a little of this product is going to go a long, long way. You do not need a lot of this product. I am just wiping my brushes off onto an old towel that I keep sitting next to me when I am doing my makeup. And I'm just going to bring this down my neck. Make sure everything is smoothed out. Perfect. So now we are going to go in with our 30 second hack. Like I did say, we have two colors we're using today and that is white peach. And we are gonna go in with a little bit of moonlight as well. I have been using these products for a close to two weeks now yeah and I've barely made it in any of my tins so if you're worried about the tins not holding a lot they do I know somebody who's been using the products for a month and just now reached the bottom of her tin through the middle so now all she has to do is heat it back up smooth it out and she pretty much has a full tin of makeup again that's the beauty of this stuff it's made with beeswax it can be melted back down so you're getting a full use out of the product so now we are gonna go in with our two highlight colors. I am in some type of mood, let me tell you. 
Okay, so I am going in with the pointed end of my 30 second hack brush. One swipe through that. You can't really see. I cannot wait to have a good light. But we picked up more than enough product to apply onto our face. And I'm just going to dab this all around that contour. And this is color pe white peach. And this is a, this would be considered my darker color. That's why we're taking it around this area and then I'm going to lighten up the other areas with my other highlight color, Moonlight. Perfect. Just a little bit of dabs. And it does look scary. I will not lie. Looks very, very scary. But this brush, all of our brushes work miracles. It is applying this color so smooth. Once I have it applied in all the areas, I will go around and just kind of smooth it out so it's not a bunch of dots. Outlining our contour color, going right across our head. Perfect. So now I'm just going to wipe this brush off again. I love all the brushes and the selection you have to pick from through Mascara Beauty. And yes, Kelsey, I love that about this too. With these brushes, you're able to apply product exactly where you want it. So you're not have, using product unnecessarily or wasting half your product. What you pick up is enough to do your whole face and it is going to smooth out like mm, some nice butter on a nice warm piece of toast. It's just going to glide right on there. So now we're going to go in with our lighter color and that is Moonlight. This is the color that we've been using all week. Well, in all of our lives and just one, two, and I have more than enough. And we're just going to take that into this area. It's really going to brighten this up in through here. We will take it over in this area. Hi, Kiri. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Oh my gosh. I'm a mess and a half. Just a few. Thank you so much, Kels. I'm really liking the coverage I'm getting with these two colors combined. At first, I just had my Moonlit color, so I was really excited when I got this second highlight color, which is White Peach. Okay, So we have that applied in all of the areas that we are going to need it. I'm just going to go like this, Kristen. I agree. Hi guys, happy Memorial Day. Do you wanna buy some makeup for me? Do you love it? <laughs> My family would like commit me to a psych ward to be like, okay, she needs to go. <laughs> so now that we have all of this on, we are going to start the process of blending it out because I am not walking out of my house while looking like this. I don't even think my boyfriend would want to see me walk out of the room looking like this, let alone taking me out in public. <laughs> All right, we're going to start on this side. <laughs> and we're going to start blending, just tapping. Just tapping. <laughs> Kristen, would you want to walk around in public with me looking like that? Okay, I might have looked like that on a couple occasions that we were hanging out. Not willingly knowing. I probably thought that I looked good. <laughs> Thinking back now, I should have probably thought about that. 
So using that lighter color on my forehead, it just really brightened up that middle area and really helped to combine my contour and my two co highlight colors together. <laughs> Kristen, do you remember that one time? I'm pretty sure it was you I was with. And we were riding my quad and we were scared to get caught and we were like, well, if we get caught, just like flip your helmet up and tell them that you're our sister and we have to watch you and just start crying. I'm like, yeah, guys, make me be the one to do this. Mm -hmm. Just tapping here, getting this blended across our face. Kristen, you don't care, wouldn't care what I looked like. You'd be like, let's go. We're going. Come on. Okay, I thought that was you. I'm like, all right, I don't want to say this and then sound like a narnar -nar if it wasn't actually her. And we're just smoothing out this con Oh my gosh, I'm loving the coverage I got from these two colors. So we did use a new contour color, which was Astoria. Kristen, you've got some wise words today, girl. We hit five shares! Woo! That means we get to do the giveaway. We get to do the giveaway. Ooh, ooh. For Memorial Day, you get to do a giveaway. Woo! <laughs> I am just full of energy today. I told Kristen, like, I am so excited we're getting out of the house. Even though we've went on walks and stuff, we have, like, followed the, uh, stay at home order but I'm um, ready to get out I had a friend come up I think it was last week and we went out to Bilger's Rocks which is up by us and we had an amazing time with them thank you Kelsey. she can only catch his personality on some days it's not every day I wish it was I wish this could be my personality every day. I won't. I won't. I won't. Trust me. There ain't no getting rid of this personality. Mm -mm. All right. <laughs> so we're going to go in with our stone contour color. Just kidding. Our Astoria contour color, which we received in our artist kit. And I'm going to contour my nose. One little swipe. We're not going to need a lot of this. To contour our nose, a simple line on that side, following it on this side, and bringing it around. I was creating like a, that dancing butt video you saw. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my highlight color again, which is Moonlight. And we're just going to take that right down the center here, which is going to help us blend that out. Wiping off my fingers. Good using that same padding motion. Kels, I am loving this Astoria color. I was a little nervous, especially because I'm just now like getting into the whole like contouring aspect of makeup. But I went for it and I'm loving it. Like I definitely love my stone, don't get me wrong. But I'm just loving the definition that this contour creates. It doesn't make my uh, big old friend on my face there stick out. So we have now contoured our nose. We've contoured below our cheekbones, below our chin, and right around our hairline. We applied our two highlight colors right. We applied our darker color right along our contour, and then we went in, which was our white peach is our darker, and then we went in with our lighter highlight color, which is moonlight in the areas around our white, pe white peach highlight color. So I'm not sure if I said that right, so let me say that again. Astoria contour, white peach around the contour, moonlight around the white peach highlight, and then we contoured our nose, taking more of that highlight color down the middle to really help blend everything out. I'm loving the look that we've got from this today. So now we're gonna go in with our blush. 
which is also our lip and cheek color. So I'm thinking for today, we might just go in with some pink grapefruit. Look at the cute little packaging that it came in with. It has little flamingos on it. I just love the little packaging. And when you get it, it comes like this. And then you just slide it on out. Pop it out of that bad boy. Pop it into this bad boy. Voila. A full face fits in one of these compacts. That is amazing instead of having to carry 14 different things in your makeup bag when you're trying to get on the road. So now we're going to go in with our pink grapefruit. I'm going back in with my blush and bronzer brush. Look at their color. It's beautiful. And then just tap, 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 tap. Really blend it all out. Our lip and cheek colors are super duper pigmented. A little bit will go a long way, but we want some bright cheeks today. And that's what we're gonna get, right? And remember, your perfector sponge is your best friend when you're doing your makeup. Pick up too much, use your perfector sponge to pick that up and help you so you don't have so much product. Just a couple dabs. I, like I said, I do have a heavy hand. Should have went in later with this color, but it's still gonna come out looking beautiful. Our cheeks are gonna be so vibrant for today. If you're just hopping on, make sure you're saying hello. We did pit five shares during this video, so we will be doing a giveaway to enter. You must share this video and comment below shared. So we used pink grapefruit on our cheeks here. It's really giving us a pretty color on them. I'm loving this color and I'm just dabbing. I love this pink grapefruit. We are gonna do a quick look here before we get off and get to go have fun with our family. But before we do that, I'm gonna do my mascara and I'm just using L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And then we will get into our lip look. We'll illuminate our face and we are done. Hi, McKenna. I have not talked to you in a while, girly. And I just take a little bit of mascara when I have fake lashes on and it just really blends your natural lash in with your fake lashes, creating a fuller look on your eyelid. And I will show you that here in one sec. Kelsey, do you like this pink grapefruit? Because I'm like really feeling it. I like love it. My awkward uh, facial expressions. Hope everybody enjoys and loves those. Okay. So I will show you. How full our eyes look now. Pink grapefruit really makes our cheeks pop. Oh, this room is so hot in here. Maybe it's just because I'm like so energetic today. I don't know. It could be either. So now we're going to do our lips. And to do that, I am going to use my stone contour. 
and we're going to go back in with the brush that we also used on our eyebrows to line our lips with. I'm really liking the lip looks. I've never been one to be a lip person, but this has been a game changer for me. So we're going to go in with our contour color stone and we're going to line our lips. This was, I practiced yesterday and you'll get to enjoy those pre-recorded videos this week, but I practiced yesterday and I got it, my outline so nicely. I'm sorry, there was fuzzies in front of me. It wasn't like a fly or anything. It was just a fuzzy. <laughs> so we're just dabbing into that and now we're going to line our lips. And like I had said before, do not be alarmed if you get this outside of the area that you want it. Then your lining doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my gosh. Like I said, yesterday's this one on like a, like a view. Today? We're just gonna flow with it, I guess, right? Oh, you know what? Yesterday I didn't use stone contour. I went in with my, I'm sorry, my sister's trying to call me and she knows I'm live. I'm a smacker. Crazy woman. Okay. So we now have our lips outlined, giving us a fuller upper lip look. I'm going to go in with my highlight color Moonlight and brighten up the outer edges of our lips. So like you are seeing here, I just used my contour color three different places. I used it on my brows. I'll say this when I'm done doing this because I'm going to get it everywhere. So I use this contour color to line my lips, to line my brows, and as a contour on my face. I'm now using my highlight color that I use for an all over color on my lips to create an ombre effect. I'm then going to go in with my lip and cheek colors that I used on my lips and use or that I used on my cheeks and use them on my lips. This makeup is versatile. It is not only made for one part of your face. Thank you for the love, McKenna. You're an amazing girl at eye looks. I get some of my inspo from your eye looks. Thank you, thank you for all the love. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited to pick a winner. I'm so glad we hit five shares. I love to give back to you guys, so I'm so excited. And for anybody that's just hopping on, let me show you what the giveaway prize is. Sorry, I look like a crazy lady. <laughs> but today's giveaway prize is a nude lip and cheek. I've been using this on my lips in most of my lives. My sister just missing me. Shoot, sorry. I sorry I caught. I forgot you're going live. It's all it's all good, KK. If you're watching this, I won't beat you now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So now we're gonna go in with our pink grapefruit. One swipe of my finger, and I have picked up more than enough color. Trying to see how you guys could see. I wish you could see how pigmented it is. Okay. <laughs> enough of that, right, Ashley? Enough. Somebody's trying to start their cards. That does not sound like it's going the greatest. So now we went in with the pink grapefruit on the bottom. And I'm going to dab my finger into my nude color. And just place that in the middle of my upper lip. I'm going to close my lips and do two swipes. So now that I kind of have stuff starting to mix, I'm going to go back in with my brush and finish the smoothing process. 
you might have to add a little bit more of one color. So like I know right off the bat I'm going to need more of this pink. Yes. And I will use just a little bit more nude. On the top. Perfect. One, two. Now, once you're done, you might have a little bit of fallout onto your corners. But that is easily cleaned up with your highlight color, girl. So let me see if I can show you. We created a fuller upper lip. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Kels. I'm really liking this pink grapefruit and nude mixed together on my lips. So now just to clean everything up, I am going to go in with my the smaller tapered end of my Buffy brush through Mascara Beauty. So today we did use all three of our brushes. We used our bluff, blush and bronzer brush. We used our 30 second hack brush to smooth and blend everything together and now we're going to go back in with our buffy brush and use this to clean up our lip line one swipe right around the bottom that's all you're going to need and then you're just going to dab so you don't have any harsh lines Perfect. One little dab. On the, see how, let me pull this up so you can see. See how I just took that highlight color right there. That's gonna clean up that whole lip. So don't be alarmed if you get something outside of your lip. It's not gonna ruin the look you were going for at all we are doing illuminator okay so i will do the illuminator as soon as i'm done with this i like to put my illuminator on after i have my lips done in case i have to go back in like i am today and just clean everything up so that my illuminator really pops at the end i cannot keep the drool in my mouth Oh, uh, perfect. So we now have our lips lined. They're looking absolutely luscious. Pebbles, me and you both, girl, I have some new illuminator colors coming. I think I got a powder illuminator to try too. And I'm so excited to try those illuminators. So with that being said, we just finished our lip look using our contour, highlight, and lip and cheek colors out of our full face compact. You can have those four colors customized to you. I have a free color match form and the link that I will share at the end of this. You can have a free color match done. We can select your four tins and then you get a compact for free to hold all of your tins and this one only has three this is one of the new compacts that i received in the mail so i'm going to dampen my beauty blender and i will say this before we do get off here i am so so thankful for everybody who shared today hopped on i know we are spending time with family so if you were able to hop on i really enjoy the support and Thank you for getting us to five shares. We get to do a giveaway of a beautiful lip and cheek color. So I'm super duper excited about that. Remember to be commenting if you are sharing this 
And if you're going to catch the replay and you do share it when you catch the replay, hashtag replay and shared in the comments after you have shared the video. So now our illuminator is Pearl. My girl Kayla Sapala is getting this illuminator. I did this giveaway the night that I did my artist kit unboxing. And we had almost hit 10 shares that night. So if we're really racking up the shares, you never know. There might just be an extra winner selected and an extra gift given away. You never know. So my girl won the Pearl Illuminator. I'm so excited for her to get and try this illuminator. You can see it just glistening in the compact. I'm going to use my Perfector Sponge a light dab into this. And I have picked up. And I'm going to take this right up my nose. Beautiful. And we're going to take this right above our blush. Look at that shine shine what's that song shine. i don't know we're not gonna sing because we all know ashley cannot sing i like to think i can sing oh look at that glow it's giving me yes girl yes and i'm just taking my blush and bronzer brush and just dabbing that into my face beautiful shimmer beautiful shimmer and shine and then we will do our cupid's arrow and we are pretty much done ladies and gents and on to our chin And I do like to just like any excess, I'll dab on my forehead. And then taking my bluff brush, my blush and bronzer brush, just dabbing that in. We've got that shimmer. We've got those poppin' cheeks. We've got some beautiful lips. And everything I used to complete my lips was out of my full face compact. We used three of Mascara Beauty brushes today. I used my blush and bronzer, my 30 second hack, and my Buffy brush. The Buffy brush was really just used to clean up anything. And I always clean my brushes off in between so I'm not transferring colors. That's the best way to ensure that you're not transferring colors you don't want transferred. That in there. The last thing we will do is apply a little bit of setting powder. I am going to be out and about today. I'm not really going to be at home. So I do want to make sure that my makeup is set. I have lots of lots of goodies coming in the mail that I'm so excited for. I think I have like three or four packages actually coming. Maybe six. Hi, make sure you're saying hello when you're hopping on. Giving this a share, commenting shared after it's done. I'm going to take my setting powder anywhere I naturally get oily throughout the day. So right next to my nose, under my eyes, right on the cheek there. Each side, I'll do that. And then my sides of my nose get so oily. So we will do the sides of my nose and right in the corners does anybody's face get super oily in the corners of their face because i feel you i feel your pain girl we're gonna take it right on my t-zone onto my forehead here where i tend to get oily we're almost done which means i will be hopping off but this video will be shared onto my page so if you weren't able to catch the live, it's okay. There's always a replay. Just comment hashtag replay. Give this a like. Give this a share. If you do share, make sure you're commenting in the comments shared. That is how you will be entered into today's giveaway. Okay. 
So the last thing is my setting spray and we are done. This is a full glammed look. All products she used today were pretty much mascara beauty except for my eyeshadow colors and my mascara colors. Everything else on my face is mascara certified, girl. Okay, so let me show you in some natural lighting. Let me pull this. I was so excited to scrunch my hair, do like a cute scrunch look to find out I don't have hairspray and my hair does not do well in the heat with a out a hairspray i'm loving this look guys we've got that natural glow from the sun hitting we've got a vibrant eye look we did our lips and that is it for today guys um like i said i'm gonna try to go live three days a week but my other days, there will be pre-recorded videos and little posts for you guys to interact with. So everybody, everybody, happy, happy Memorial Day. Enjoy the time with your fam. Eat lots and lots of good food. And remember, comment, share to be entered into this giveaway. Love you guys.